Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the power button on a Roswell case, uh, Roswell case FBM-01. Okay, here's our power button. Uh, if you follow the power button along, you can't see where it connects back here. Um, but this is, this yellow wire here is our power button switch. So follow that along here. Okay, we're going to be disconnecting the yellow and white wire. As you can see, it says power switch. So now our power button is disconnected from the motherboard. Okay, so to, uh, to start the computer without the power button, basically what you're doing is those two pins where we just disconnected from, Put it back on just to show you for the sake of the video. Okay, so there's our power switch. It goes right in, right there is where it connects to. And as you can see, it says on off directly above it. So that's our power switch. Okay, so disconnect it gently. Um, and so now our power button's disconnected. Come back here, make sure we switch to the on position. Come back in here, we see our, uh, we see we have power coming to our motherboard. As you can see this red LED light is lit on your motherboard. Okay, uh, now take a, something that's conductive, a conductive wire. Right here I have trying to show you. This is a piece of an ethernet cable. Uh, it has, so there's a, a copper wire in there. You can't really see too well. Basically, I just stripped this wire, the rubber off this wire, and it's copper on the inside. Uh, but anything conductive would work. Uh, paper clip would work. Uh, sometimes car keys even work if they're made out of the right metals. Um, but copper wire is, uh, copper wire is a good one. I like copper wire because that's, uh, pretty much 100% conductive. So, okay. Anyway, so to bypass the power button, we have our power switches, uh, we have our power supply switches set to on. We got power on the motherboard as you can see there. And now we're going to bypass the switch. Take this little piece of copper wire and you're going to connect those two pins together and uh, you only want to put them together for a second and as soon as the system starts disconnect them okay so here it goes so you take this little copper wire and short those two pins together and as you can see all of our fans just started spinning and our our bios posted so that's how you Bypass your power button in the case in the event that there's some type of issue with your power button And to turn the computer back off Hold your uh, hold your wire to those two uh, to those two heads And then our system turned back off, as you can see. So that is how you bypass your power switch um, and um, turn that back off. And then um, see that LED light turned off, we have no more power. Now we can plug this guy back in. And there it was. And that's back to how it was. Now the power switch is back connected. 